Hey guys, so it's the 20th of September and I thought I would show you some of my plants, kind of what they're looking like as we move into fall. Some of the um, trees are changing color and some of my flowers are looking pretty good. So I wanted to just kind of share with you. We did have a really bad storm and it rained a lot. So um, things got pretty beat up and they're starting to die, but it, some of the stuff is looking okay. So I thought I'd share. So look at all the water. It rained so much. It filled up. It was just flowing over like a fountain. So most of the blooms are gone. I need to come out here and cut off some of the dead stuff. I still have some fuchsia that's growing. I don't know what happened to that. I'm thinking Sonny, he's starting to lift his leg and he actually had an aggressive moment um, when he was playing the other day. Usually he's not, he's just, but you can tell it's time for him to uh, get the old chop chop. Brett says he won't take him, so I gotta take him. <laughs> uh, look at my, my uh, yard art in the sun. Doesn't it look amazing? The sun hitting it. And that, you know, that pot's okay. I have a maiden hair, it's dying. The fountain, I just need to turn it on. And a lot of the greens are still going strong. The ferns look great. This is another piece that I made, but it it's on the bottle like that, so it does spin with the wind sometimes. There's some of the plants. That fountain needs to be to pulled out. My dog started like freaking out. I think there was a mole and it dug down in there so it got all muddy. My sedums look good though. That's that pot that I um, planted and showed you at the beginning of like either May or June before my surgery. Um, here is that tiered pot holder, and I just need to come in here and break some of these off like that. They just pop right off, and it, if you keep pulling them off, it will keep blooming. And you know, also pick off the leaves if you can, because that helps to promote more growth because then it doesn't have that dead stuff hanging off of it. But those are looking pretty good. I had this that I bought and it in the heat it wasn't doing too well but it's doing much better now. It needs to be like blown off here. You can see all these nettles and leaves. It, this gets completely covered in the fall and it's starting to it's about time to do a f winter you know where you put everything away and take all of your pads and stuff off and I've done most of that um, here is my bird tree I wanted to show you remember I made that it was supposed to be a bird feeder well it the bird seed got wet so I ended up just making it a little bird bath so it just gets filled with water and it when it rains but I do need to um, dump it out and refill it that basket is one I planted back in May and it is still doing really well here is some of the trees Oh, that has berries on it, I think. It does. Look. It has like these red things on it. They look so freaky. They're like aliens. What are those? Oh, it was, this is the dogwood. Okay, 
This is a dogwood and that was the center of the blooms and the I think I showed it in a couple videos ago and the flowers were like white dogwood white with the red centers and that's what ended up happening and it's probably they're like seed, pod, seed pods or something my maple here is so beautiful it's one of my favorite trees and it is starting to change colors isn't it pretty And it gets those little helicopter things that you can throw up and make a wish. It was a good summer, but look how good our lawn looks. Except, look at this, okay. I know those of you who have golden retrievers will understand this. Look at what Sunny has done. These are little pieces of wood from our wood pile. Uh, trees that have gone down, limbs from my fire pit. And then look at this. He like carried this big huge like stick out here. What is that? Oh, great. Somebody's glasses. I don't know whose glasses those are. Okay. Sunny. Did you do that? Sunny. Bring me the ball. Bring me the ball. Good boy.